find random random number random number between min and max see it is giving you a range between min and max and the what is the random number that you can generate so again you can do try calling this find find random number between 1 and 10 and if you run Welcome back to Uncommon Geeks. Myself, Asanta. I hope you all doing well. In case if you are seeing me for the first time on the internet, I'm a content creator. I help people to clear their interview. I have created a lot of beautiful series in the past where a lot of people got benefit from it and it has helped in their interview. So I'm going to put those links in the description. Along with helping people to clear their interview, I also make a lot of videos about the upcoming tech, which is helpful for the developers to save their valuable time. Also, definitely helps in their interview preparation. Okay. So today I have come with a very very hot topic, which has been a, a, a recent phenomenon. or i can say recent a uh, change that is blowing the internet okay so that is github copilot so github copilot has been available in the market for the quite some time but it is finally open to all on june 21st 2022 okay it is just close to one one and a half week that the thing has been happened and i'm making a video for you to explain everything so if you are someone who already know what is github copilot but how to don't install it on a visual studio or any other editor i'm going to tell that so if you are someone who don't know what is github copilot and what are the advantages of it that also i'm going to tell okay so basically everything about the github copilot i'm going to explain that to you in this video I have taken GitHub Copilot license. I have been experiencing it over two weeks, and it is phenomenal. As I mentioned in thumbnail and the description, I am able to save thirty to fifty percent of my development effort using the GitHub Copilot. Okay, so please watch the video till the end. Somewhere in the video, I am going to tell how to get GitHub Copilot for absolutely free of cost. Okay, so somewhere in the video, I am going to tell that. So please watch the video till the end to know that details. Okay, now without wasting further time, let's get started. So this is the official blog GitHub dot blog. So where they have mentioned uh, the GitHub is open for all the GitHub Copilot is open for all now. Okay, so the wait is over. They have mentioned from when, how to access, etc. Everything. Okay, now I'm gonna so the GitHub Copilot is open for all now, but how to access it? That I'm gonna explain you step by step. Okay, but for those of you who don't know what is GitHub Copilot, in very simple words, it's an auto suggestion engine. So whenever, let's say you are coding, right? Let's say for example you have to find something called find the second largest number in the array. What you would generally do? You will go to Google, find uh, second largest number in an array. You search it, and you go to any of these links, get the code. In case if you are a Java developer, you have plenty of resources across the web. In case if you are a JavaScript developer like me, some code you may not get, so you have to read it in Java and interpret it into JavaScript. Then come back and read it in a JavaScript. Okay, so this is what generally we will be doing. JavaScript developers or the front-end developers will be doing. Okay, so rather doing all this, the GitHub Copilot is something a tool, a AI engine that is embedded into your editor, and it will help you to write all this. Uh, it will help you to write the code automatically. I'll show. I'm going to show you how to do that. But I, I'm really thrilled, guys. Uh, how it is the our code GitHub Auto Copilot is working, right? I'm really thrilled to explain you that Copilot. Okay, now so. Very first thing, uh, this is GitHub uh, dot com. So I've created a fresh account for this video because in my actual account where I put all the projects that I discussed in my video series, I already linked to GitHub Copilot. I'll not be able to explain you step by step with that. So I've created a fresh account. I've, there is nothing in this. Okay, it's a brand new or empty GitHub uh, account. So here, if you see. In the top right, you would be seeing an, uh, a card kind of a structure, which shows GitHub Copilot gets get a suggestion for lines of code and entire function real time. Okay, this is what uh, here you would get. This is a one option to get into GitHub Copilot. In case if you don't see an option here, you can also go like uh, uh, how you can do. You can, you can search Google, and here also you can give GitHub Copilot. Okay. Then you can go to feature out GitHub Copilot. Okay. So your AI programmer. So this is the official website for GitHub Copilot itself. Okay, here as you can see, a uh, lot of auto suggestions are happening here. So get average runtime of successful runs in a second. See, you are getting the code. Just he has put something in the comment, but you here you are getting the code. Okay, so basically this is what GitHub Copilot is doing. That is about the uh, roughly if I, if you have to see. Now here if you go to scroll down, you have here you have FAQ section very first. What is GitHub Copilot? Is an AI programmer that helps you to write the code faster with less work. Okay, that is the first point. Uh, it draws context from the comments in the code suggested in the individual lines of the whole function instantly. GitHub Copilot is powered by Codex, a generated pretended uh, 
pre-trained language model created by OpenAI. So basically, it's a model in very simple words. It's a uh, AI ML model which will keep evolving. Basically, it, it has it has trained by taking lot of code resources available on the web. So that is how they have mentioned here. How does GitHub Copilot work? It has trained by lot of public repository that is available already in the GitHub and lot of answers Q and is it, uh, from the different forums like Stack Overflow. It's a combination of both the natural language plus the program. So it's a combination of both. Okay, uh, and what what data it has it has uh, on on what it has trained it has trained on the natural languages text and uh, source code from the publicly available sources. So it has not taken any company's code as such. Officially, it is saying it has only taken the private public code. There are plenty of public repositories on GitHub. From that, it has taken the code and and built the model. So next question is it perfect code? So, so far with my experience, I've written, used it only for writing the utility files. So it has been fairly perfect. But what they say, only 26% of the time, so far, the code has been accepted. Why? The model is still evolving. When it is now open to all, everyone will be downloading it, using it. The model will learn more and more. So is it good for you as a developer to use it? Because when model learns more and more, model itself becomes a programmer. So you can really, will it replace you gradually? So that also I made a very detailed video. Is it good for us or not in this link? I'll put that on the screen also in description. Please do watch that now. So this is all about a GitHub Auto Co Copilot and what they do, etc. Okay, now let was not uh, enough is enough. Let's start. Let's do something with it. Okay, correct. Let's start doing that. So first thing that you do is start free trial. Okay, you click on this button. See, GitHub Copilot is not free. Okay, it is not free. Uh, why I'm saying this is many people may know a lot of things out web are free for the developers. Uh, the reason being uh, compared to overall population, the developer's population is quite less. So a lot of things are free and companies do get benefit because of the developers using it. They, they learn and they evolve. Okay, so generally they have two versions, one public version and one is a private version. So public version generally give it for free and the private version where the company is using, they make the money. But this is not like that. So this is dollar ten a month, dollar hundred per year. So dollar ten as of today is around 78 Indian rupees. So you have to pay 780 rupees a month or 7800 rupees a year to for the github copilot is it worth giving that i can't comment okay so i have been using since two weeks i have been greatly loving it i may go for the uh, uh, paid version right now i'm in a i'm in a free mode i may go for the paid one but i don't know because uh, so far i've been i haven't used it in my projects i've been trying to do some lot of stuffs personally and i've been good with that if i really like this a valuable from the project perspective also definitely i'm gonna buy it okay now so monthly plan is 10 month uh, yearly plan is 100 so you can select any of this option and click on continue to get access so here you need to enter a lot of things like first name last name address etc and save and continue so i'm not going to do that because i've already done this so after you do this then in the next screen it'll ask you the payment details okay so you cannot skip this process either you have to give a credit card or you have to give a debit card or you have to link your PayPal account. Okay, so these are the three options. I have linked my PayPal account. So where I had a card, uh, which is functioning card, and that I have linked here. So that process you cannot skip. But don't worry, you have a two months of free trial. They will not charge you anything. So after two months or somewhere in the middle, if you think, you oh, know, I am not feeling that much use, this I can do on my own. Obviously, you are free to cancel the uh, the license or the subscription that you have taken okay but my advice is please 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 take this free subscription what is what you're losing correct take it use it if you like you can uh, continue to do it if you're really not using it then yeah, you can stop using correct? but don't miss the opportunity of exploring github copilot so that's all so you'll do this process okay after you do all this process so your account will be enabled with the github copilot so next steps are fairly simple so i'm showing this with a visual studio how to do it okay so you can go here uh, you can go to again github copilot official link then you can go to explore docs and here you can get started with the visual studio code okay then here if you go the first thing you have to install the visual studio code that i think most of us will be already having uh, see i'm explaining for visual studio code even for the other if you're using for jet brains or other editor the process is fairly simple okay where you just have like unlike how you add any other extension similarly you can add this also okay then you get up copilot so you can go to this page get up go copilot extensions okay then you can click on this install button whenever you click on this install button a pop-up comes up stating uh, i'll open the visual studio code and install or you can also search the extensions in visual studio code so like if you go to visual studio code and if you go to extension and you search for uh, uh, github copilot there also it will pop up okay so you can click on github copilot 
so and you can insert i've already done that so i'm not going to do that again okay same same process so it's a, just a trigger from web once after you log in so in the top uh, left so that's what they have said here so in the bottom left you will see as something like this a pop up which will ask you to sign into your github account you have to do that so that the it will get uh, the where the github account where you got this premium uh, policy or where you are paid or we have taken the subscription and the visual studio code needs to get bind so that will be by by logging into the github okay that is what uh, is doing so once after this is done so you are good uh, where the linking is done so now we have a github copilot access okay so how will you use it the first thing they have given is here function calculate between dates calculate day between dates let us start with that okay so you are here okay so what i am doing here is function calculate calculate a comma something something like this coming calculate day see day between see calculate day between dates you see here right so you just type to calculate day bw see intentionally i typed quite slow okay if you type very fast uh, it doesn't happen because i've seen in the past where uh, if i'm typing very fast and uh, the, the 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 auto suggest was not working well okay so type little slowly so that the auto suggestion works well yeah? and second point in case after installing if it is not at all working for you the auto suggestion is not happening so then my advice is just shut down the entire machine and restart it okay this happened to me it did not work so after i uh, killing and reopening it started working and second point if you named your file something like a copilot.js i don't know that's a, that's a mistake i did or uh, something happened copilot.js it was not auto suggesting so i renamed it to index.js and then it started auto suggesting okay this is something which i made uh, i think hacks that i did so make sure it works well okay so now here we have three things so next previous and the so if you hover if you have the command and hover over this you start seeing three next to previous accept and open github copilot this is very important open github copilot if you click so how many solutions are available for github copilot see calculate day b e t w after this what all general functions are used that is available in github copilot it will show you so calculate day between dates calculate day between dates calculate day between dates calculate day between okay so why so many solutions see different solutions have a different approach some may have a better space complexity some may have better time complexity and your requirement is space or time or both so depending on that you can optionally choose one of the approach okay so now if i come back here uh, between again i'll type between see this is this is, sometimes is a problem where it doesn't auto suggest quickly okay and now again it start you can hit the tab so that it starts showing uh, the entire code will be start showing okay so the most common is that i did because i'm not going to show you anything superficial that we are not using day to day something that as a developers will be using our utility files a very uh, uh, i mean day to day basis so when very common thing is we'll be getting some will be merging the arrays etc where there are duplicates so remove duplicates from an array okay function so remove duplicates okay i'm hitting tab and how beautifully brilliant it is i'll show you so remove duplicates see it suggesting a sample input for me okay not just the function it is even suggesting the sample input for me so if i run it see all the duplicate numbers like 1 1 2 to the all the duplicates are removed so this is something that the, i think we all you will use on a day to day basis but there may not be simple array like this but slightly complicated uh, jsons obviously you can extend this example okay so remove i don't know whether this will work remove duplicates from from array see even object etc there are many solutions okay maybe this is something that applies for object so if i see here so remove duplicates from array it's still showing the same thing but we can just try experimenting until we get some solution that works for the object or something that is uh, you can take the existing code and slightly modify it for the object another one example let us see function find random random number random number between min and max see it is giving you a range between min and max and the what is the no random number that you can generate so again you can do try calling this find find random number between 1 and 10 and if you run the code 8 
okay so you can call this again to just to ensure you're getting a different random number 216 so this is how beautiful it is see it it was not that we don't know this code some will know it but even if you don't know we can search on the web we get the code and we can add it here but how much of a time you are saving so let's say for the same random number uh, between the range i every time i go search on the web get the code add here it will take around five minutes because to verify and other things correct so here everything is working well for you in less than a minute you are able to incorporate this so that is the beauty of using the um, github copilot okay so so this is this is how we can use github copilot and same would apply for if you are using the files like uh, uh, any java c sharp python etc everywhere the github copilot would do the same for you sometimes you may have to give a little more push to it like for example you have to fetch some images from the web so you have to create the url etc and then call the function so it would try to get the uh, the do, do the those things okay yeah now the we reach the last to part of the video like where i have uh, guaranteed you i'll tell you how to get this github copilot for free where i get the now the in the free trial and the subscription cost per month i have already explained uh, 10 dollar a month 100 dollar a year so to get it for free i have made a beautiful video which explains how to get github copilot for free uh, not a very long video i'll try to link that on the screen also in the description section because it is not so easy to explain in in, in a couple of seconds or couple of some few seconds in this video i have made a very detailed video which explains that in detail how to get the github copilot or free of cost for the rest of your life okay so please do watch that video i'll put that on the screen also in the description section after watching the video definitely at least some of you will get github copilot or free of cost okay thank you so much for watching if you like in the content that i made in this video please do like this video on youtube channel do not forget to subscribe to uncommon geeks share the videos with your friends so that a lot of people watch it and they also get benefited because of this definitely worth giving a try to github copilot no matter whether you like it or not just try it if you like continue if you're not liking you can stop the subscription there's no loss for anyone correct thank you all catch you in next video